In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Odoo and how we can maintain equipment within the Odoo platform. Um, this is a standard install of Odoo. There's no uh, additional modules other than what comes with the platform. And um, the demo data has been loaded into this database. So to maintain equipment, we've got a few options here. We've got um, our repairs module, our field services module, and our maintenance module. Now, all three of these modules will do Go, go, go some way to maintaining equipment and they, their focus is, is quite different and I'll take you through each one of these. So we'll start off with the maintenance module first. If we take a quick look at the maintenance module which I've already opened up here just to save a bit of time. Um, I can see that on the dashboard I've got a few bits and pieces to do here but let's, let's uh, just keep going and we'll have a look at the equipment itself. If we have a look at the equipment I can open up a piece of equipment I can see that and this is why I'm jump jumping straight to this. You can you can go and have a look at your at the tutorials for how to use maintenance. But I just want to sum up why um, or how this is intended to be used. You'll notice here on this piece of equipment, um, it's got a category. It's got a company. Now these these companies are internally they're internal companies. They're not our customers. They're not. It's really internal. So you can tell straight away that this maintenance for this equipment is internal equipment to the company it's 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 our own equipment we want to maintain and that is exactly what this is made for so maintenance was was uh came out of the manufacturing module um to assist that with with uh, maintaining equipment used in the manufacturing process so you can you know see here we've got a we, 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 we give it a name, we've got our company in here, we've got the departments to use, whether it's assigned to a department or an employee or whatever the case may be, and we're going to assign the employee down the bottom here and so forth, and we've got descriptions, we've got some product information here, and we've got some um, MTBF or, or um, um, performance stats on, on the maintenance repairs and so forth. And up top, got a smart button on my previous um, maintenance requests and so forth. See. So, Pointing out what I'm pointing out here is I'm not, I'm not taking you through the entire module. I'm just showing that this is really focused on internal uh, equipment, and that is absolutely perfect for it. There are a few few things that are, are missing from this for for, for me. Um, namely, one is the um, ability to uh, consume parts when you're doing a, a a piece of maintenance on a sorry a maintenance on a piece of equipment um, because inevitably you will use parts when you maintain the equipment whether it's a, just a general service or it's a repair type issue or whatever the case may be so from a maintenance perspective um, if i'm doing an oil change on a vehicle um, then i'm going to need to know that i'm going to consume an x number of liters of oil or whatever the case may be so for me that's missing here the other thing that's missing here would be the time sheets like how do i record time against this particular activity and sure, I can set up a bit of a project and, and maintain um, the timesheets via a project and that sort of thing, but it's not here. It's I've, I've got to go out and do that externally and so forth. So it's not it's not front of mind. So there's, there's a couple of things here. Um, the equipment within maintenance is internally focused and it's missing the ability to consume parts and to record times. Okay, let's move on to repairs now. So repairs, you'll notice that, and, and this is again, this is what you see when you first come into the repairs module. Um, if I open up one of these guys, I can see there's a repair to be done. And when that loads, it's loading, loading, loading. And now it's loaded. Um, you can see this is, this is now a bit more capable, but what this is, it, this is saying that the repairs module is I've sold a piece of, um, of a product to a, to a, to a customer and then for some reason they bought it back for us to fix it. Um, either it was under warranty or for some other reason it's just got to be fixed. So this is this is good. Um, so now I do have the ability to add and remove parts, so that's great, perfect. I've got the ability to add notes in here and some miscellaneous uh, information in here with this, which is the default um, operations type for our returns. And so when we get a product back from a customer it's going to get returned to our probably our warehouse so there's going to be a, a return uh, come in there and then we've got an operation type to then go and return it back to the customer afterwards but anyway this 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 video is not about the how to use repairs it's just talking about what it's 
what it's aimed at. Um, so that, that's great. So, so we've got our products to repair, um, quantities, all those sorts of things, whether it's under warranty or not, and responsible and that sort of thing. That's great. Again, the thing that's missing from here is where do I record my times? My, against um, the, if I'm going to be doing this work to repair this module, where do I record that? Again, I could go out and create a project and then have time sheets within one of the tasks within the project, but it's 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 a cumbersome way to get around it. Um, it'd be much better just to have my time sheet as, as a tab here in in the, in the notebook down the bottom. So that's it's that that does go some way, but again, this is aimed at a product I've already sold. <clears throat> so what about a product that I haven't sold? that's not really in my inventory, that I don't want to maintain as a product within my inventory because it's really, it belongs to the client and so forth. So the next thing we're going to have looked at is the field services. So within field services, I, I'll open up one of these guys so we can have a look at it and do a big comparison on that one. And once this loads, I now have my field services and this does have description, it does have timesheets, does have even have subtasks? You can see it's actually got a link into the projects area here, which is great. This is out of the box. I do have my ability to consume products in here, so this is good. I can even add them to a sales order and so forth if I if I need to for this this field services. So this this is great. This goes a long way um, to 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 being able to maintain a customer's equipment without us necessarily having the entire. Um, product within our product catalog and and really do we really want to have our product catalog full of all of our customers equipment um, that we don't sell or otherwise look at um, so so this will do that job what's missing from here is if I use this for, for maintaining uh, customer equipment um, this is implying that every piece of equipment I've got to go out on site to fix. This is field services, so therefore I'm sending someone out to go and do this work. So that's mm, not always. Sometimes they're going to bring it in and we're going to do a repair on it um, internally. So you can argue between the field services module and the repairs module, you, you, you jump in between the two to try and maintain that um, that situation. So. The customer equipment might be small enough that you, you can either go out to site and fix it or you, they can bring it in. Um, sometimes the equipment's too big to bring in or fixed and you can't bring it in, so you've got to do a full service to maintain it. Um, other times you might in, always have them bring in the, 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 the products. In which way, somewhere between a field service and a repair module, you kind of get around um, being able to, to maintain the equipment. So what's missing from here, really, is again the history, the repairs, like I've, I've, I've done X number of repairs on this particular piece of equipment. Um, there's no way to really track that here. Um, I can put some maybe some tags in there, but I don't want to end up with a, you know, thousands of tags for each piece of customer equipment. I want some way, and also I want to be able to produce some sort of report to see I've, I've got my service history here. I can see all of the things that have been done with this particular piece of equipment. Now you can imagine how, much, how important that would be to who's our customer here, Nicole, um, for me to get, go in and produce a report of all of the maintenance we've done over the last 12 months for a particular piece of equipment, even though we don't have it. And so but I do think that there is some um, parts missing from that. So where to from here? So I think out of the box, um, between these three modules, you do an okay job being able to maintain equipment, regardless of whether it's an internal piece of equipment, an external piece of equipment, or something that, that people bring in for a repair. Um, it's, it's, it's reasonable. But really, if we're focusing on maintaining customer equipment, which is what this is really all about, um, we need to be able to, to do things like track the, the service history and so forth. So in the next video, I will uh, discuss on our, our custom map that will take us through and be able to deliver on that.